hair and also my makeup i tried to like look over it and it didn't turn out the way i wanted it to so my shadow is patchy and my hair is really frizzy and curly so i've like tied it up a little bit so it doesn't try not to look as crazy um whatever all right i've got some books here to talk to you about so these are some of the books that i got recently and I'm going to talk about each of them one by one. A lot of the times I don't look at synopsises, synopses of books, so I have no idea what half of these are about. Um, and honestly, I love that for me, so eh, it's fine. Probably just going to like do a quick thing or like why I got that book or why I bought it. <laughs> so the first one I got as a gift for my birthday. Uh, my birthday was on the 1st of September, so yeah, it's been that long since I've um, accumulated these books and haven't actually um, talked about them. So the book haul that I like filmed but will never see the day of light, um, that one I got, like I did a big bookshop for my birthday and pretty much all those books were what I bought myself for my birthday. So these books are ones that I got after my birthday from other people. So I got this one here, which is So Sad Today by Melissa Broder. And I believe this is like a collection of essays about like sex, death, mental illness, that's that sort of shit. Um, this one I bought for a friend of mine for their birthday and my other friend, they would have talked to each other and thought this would be good for me. So I actually don't know what this is about like really um it could be feminist it could just be about depression but either way it's gonna be interesting for me to read and see if i like it um i think i should be reading books that i'm giving as gifts <laughs> because um you never know like you really should know the books that you're gonna give out unless like it's something that they want and they're like i specifically want this book you know, but how do you know they're going to like it if you haven't read it yourself? So that one I got as a gift from a friend. He's great. <laughs> this next one is also a gift from my roommate. Um, this is The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. And this edition is beautiful. Um, I've been fangirling about this for quite a bit. Um, it was, you know, one of the books that I wanted from my local bookstore. And I think I've been in there a few times with her. And I was like, oh my god, I want this. It's so pretty. It's so cool. Blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah, she got it for my 21st birthday. I'm excited to read this. I don't know anything about what it's actually about. I really have like no, like what it could possibly be about. Still want to go there though. Still want to go see shit, you know? I get really sad sometimes about how much like landmarks like change over time and the longer that I put off going to see them, the lo like the less likely they are going to be there in the future and that just makes me kind of sad because especially now with covid like i can't travel i've been wanting to like last year i mean next year was going to be like my start of my travel and that now it's just like a big drop stop on that because like obviously this year we haven't been able to do anything next year we're going to slowly be getting things back together so it's kind of it's just sad like hopefully nothing too drastic changes. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent. I haven't really bought a lot of books and we go to like a bigger shopping center and there's like a bookstore that I really like and I usually go there and get like cheaper books and hardback books that are really nice. So especially my like classic collection that I get, I get them from there. So um, I haven't actually been able to go there a lot but I went there for the first time in a while and I ended up leaving with Little Women. Um, this beautiful edition of Little Women, if you take the little, little jacket bit off, it is gorgeous. You can't see it very well because of focus. But it's just beautiful, dude. Like, it's so cool. And the inside, the reason there is this, like, little movie dust jacket thing is because it does have little pictures from the movie. Um, I have not seen the recent movie. I have not seen any of the Little Women adaptations before. So I'm really like fresh eyes, fresh ears to this, um, world. I know that there is like a bunch of sisters and the main female character is more of like a wanting to travel and be a writer possibly. I'm not 100% sure on like that plotline. 
but apparently yeah that's that um there is an actor in there that i want to see so i do want to read the i mean do want to watch the movie um but like i think i should read the book first <laughs> there's a part of me who's like you need to read the book before you watch the movie so i think i'm gonna do that or at least like the other way around like i don't think there's anything wrong with watching the movie first and getting that instant gratification and then reading the book if you really enjoyed what the movie brought because you can only get better than getting worse right like anyway yeah um i just honestly i just kind of really want to see um timothy chalamet in that movie <laughs> so i bought the book anyway anyway the next one i also got uh more recently than anything um was Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte um this one I don't know anything about I know that it's come up a lot in my newsfeed um and also just like recommendations like I keep seeing it everywhere and I'm like oh maybe I should finally fucking read this book also like have you ever like read books and then like they mention another book this has been mentioned a few times in some literature that I've read and I'm like Maybe I should read the book that they're talking about. Whoa, that's such a weird concept. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna read this. Um, I believe it fits into the gothic horror genre or subgenre. And personally, I've been getting really, really into that. Um, I've always been into it. I literally was two days old when I realized that gothic horror is a subgenre of horror. I'm a dumbass. I, this whole time I've been really enjoying like horror movies without even realizing it because gothic horror movies and like that sort of shit is like really really my thing. Also alien movies, they count as horror apparently, like subgenre of horror, which I've never registered. Like I've seen so many more horror movies than I thought I have without realizing that they're actually like classified as horror movies. So yeah, Apparently, horror movies are my new favorite genre. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> Especially since I'm I'm currently watching Haunting on Hill House, and I'm like shitting my pants. From first, I had a nightmare the first e fucking episode. I don't know why. I think I just had like I have a big fear of sleep paralysis, so like I had a dream that I had sleep paralysis, and then I woke up and I was like, oh my god, imagine if I actually did have sleep paralysis. I think it would like have a panic attack. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm really going on tangents today, like, I filmed this video twice now, this is my second time, because the first time I didn't like how I looked, or what I said. <laughs> I love being that person. Anyway, um, this next book I got on a whim. Honestly, all of these books, um, next few books I've got on a whim. I've all just, like, walked in the store and I've been like, fuck, I want that, and I bought it. Uh, this one was not supposed to be a purchase, but it was. Um, this is William Blake's Selected Poems. And fun fact about William Blake, I actually studied one of his poems in high school. One, the first time I ever had to, like The Poison Tree, I had to select the poem that struck my interest. And A Poison Tree was that. So I had to like dissect it myself and, you know, poem of your own choice. And then not long after that, when we were doing poetry again, um, my teacher actually selected that. Um, and then in that same like time period, we were doing in year 12, we had like this seminar thing where we all had to like um, get a poem and turn it into how we talk about how we would turn it into a performance and like sort of really like go into detail about how we would perform it and um what stage props we'd use and that sort of stuff and that was like a little like seminar thing and this was not the same teacher so it just came up again randomly um and it was a, a poison tree so a poison tree has come up a lot throughout my schooling um probably because my teacher like it was is consistently a very similar teacher in english class so he probably just really liked it but also like I really liked it because there was a few coincidences where like I actually had picked it out myself or like you know a book that uh, there was like a TV show that I was watching and then next when he started like reading it out and I was like excuse me um that's one of my favorite poems um also like I was flipping through this book um when after I bought it and there's a poem in there for Hayley um, my name's Hayley so I was like oh 
wow of course it's about like an old man who like they were mates and whatever either way i like related to the poem a lot and i think it, it feels about friendship you know it's just about friendship okay these next three are literally like the most recent ones that i've like one of them i literally bought yesterday so um the first i'm going to talk about the national geographic catalog of of the titanic is this a catalog yeah I'm having like a magazine. Magazine. I've had a mental blank about what the fuck it was called. So yeah, this is the Titanic National Geographic magazine. I don't know, just like pictures and shit. <laughs> you know, in-depth wreckage details. And like some pictures. And I just, I find Titanic stuff cool. Like I want to know more about like abandoned shit wreck wrecks and stuff like that. I find underwater shit awesome. You'll actually also with these next three, which this included, you'll see that like I have very weird taste. So I jump between different hobbies and different things that I'm like really interested in. Like I have like a big, oh my god, I love this, and I get obsessed with something, and then I kind of go away from it, and then I go back to it. It's just very like wish washy and weird. So like at the beginning of the year, I was obsessed with roller coasters, and then I was obsessed with Formula One. <laughs> so. <laughs> I went into freaking Cheapest Chips and I bought a Formula One book for five dollars the other day because I saw it on the shelf and I was like, oh, me what? <laughs> me bought it. I got it. Um, so yeah, this is about Formula One. Uh, about in July I was like really really obsessed with Formula One and I like watched the TV shows on Netflix and I got really really into it and I even got tickets to go see the Melbourne race. And then it got cancelled the week of, yeah, it was June, I'm pretty sure. I was kind of like bummed out that I couldn't go. <sighs> I'm still kind of bummed out though, because like, I feel like if I went and like the races were consistent after that, then I would have been like really, really, really into it. But because it like died down and we had to put things on break for a lot and there was a lot of like virtual races, I wasn't like super, super into it. Even... <clears throat> Even now that the races are going on, I don't have any way to like really watch them that's easily accessible for me. So I haven't really like had a chance to watch a lot of the races in depth. Um, I do like follow their YouTube channel and stuff like that. So I do see clips and I am able to like, you know, see things through that way and find out who won and that sort of stuff. I'm not following it as closely as I would like to. Anyway, off track, I bought this just cause I wanted to, impulse buys, you know. This next one I got is Ancient Egyptian Myths. I bought this yesterday because it is my latest obsession. I don't know what it is, but I've been watching documentaries about archaeologists like digging up tombs and stuff like that and trying to find mummies. And I like, I've been on and off interested in mythology. For me, I was always like interested in Egyptian gods and goddesses, but I never took the time to learn about pharaohs. So right now I'm like super, super, super into that shit. Like I just want to know so much. I just, I just want to know so much. I'm in need of more docos. <laughs> but yeah, so I got this just to sort of flip through and try and read it a little bit. But yeah, I just, it's so interesting, dude. So those were the books that I have recently accumulated. In September, my big birthday book buy where I bought seven books and I ended up filming it and then hating it. Ah! <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, I think that's it. That's all I have to talk about. Yeah, I'm done. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.